Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker Dan Hop Realtors. Well, today I'm in the community of Hymer Estates in Garden Ridge, Texas, and we're going to be videoing an Anthony plan built by Chessmar Homes. Because earlier I was getting ready to video another house, and a couple came in, and they'd actually been watching me for a while, but they hadn't reached out to me because they weren't really planning on using a realtor at all. Then they found out that it cost absolutely nothing for them to use a realtor. So here I am doing a video of this house because they're really interested in the Anthony plan. Anyways, this house is 3,047 square feet. It can be a four bedroom or three bedroom house, depending on what you want to do. And it's got a three car garage in it. All right, enough about me and yabbering on. Let's head up front and start the tour. I really do like the community of Heimer Estates. Uh, Chessmar is the only builder in here. They're building on either half acre lots or three quarter acre lots. Uh, just on the other side of Bat Cave Road, which is what this is on, is a other new community called uh, Enchanted Bluff, where you're gonna have a bunch of like one over million dollar homes. Most of them are gonna be around 1.1, 1.3 million dollars. But anyway, you can see quite a few homes have already been getting built out here. This is not going to be a large community at all, but I do love the convenience to everything. You're about a 12 minute drive to the local grocery store, HEB. And for military folks, you do have uh, Shirts Medical Center, which is just a 10 minute drive from here. This is a really quiet location on the northeast part of the greater San Antonio area. You're also only about a uh, 12 minute drive to New Braunfels, Texas from here. Property taxes in this community, here, check this out. It is 1.45, so that's very low property taxes and no mud whatsoever. So it's a really great bargain. Uh, Chessmar does build this plan in a few other communities. Um, there's a brand new one in Regency Ranch. Now, Regency Ranch is going to be a less expensive build cost, but they do have a mud, multiple utility district tax added to it to help get the utilities in there. So it's kind of up to you what you want to do, but that community is really nice as well. And they also build the Anthony in Mesa Western in Cibolo, Texas. All right, let's head on inside and uh, showcase this beautiful home. All right, we do have some workers in here still doing some final touches. I did take my boots off so Chessmar doesn't yell at me, but a beautiful door out here. But coming on inside, we got a nice little uh, voyeur section. Sorry, I did not turn the light on right there, but you're gonna have an office right to your uh, left. Love the flooring in here. I've got some other clients considering building in this neighborhood. And the wife was no tile because she is done with grout. Let me tell you, these floors look really nice. They've this house is almost finished and ready to close real soon. Also right up front, you're gonna have a powder room uh, tucked away from everybody else. Eight foot doors throughout this house. Here's your cute little powder room. And then the main living space, which really sells this house. Love the tall A-frame ceilings in here. Beautiful linear fireplace but just tons of space in, in here. We've got two different uh, islands, really nice. And back there in the back for your dining room table. So uh, love the, uh, this house, like I said, was built for someone else. So they picked out everything in here. So you can see a difference between what the model homes look like and what a reasonable build is. But lots of space in this breakfast nook slash formal dining room, tall ceilings, we do have a nice pantry. Check it out. I am on my motorcycle today, so that's my motorcycle jacket. Dual ovens. And one thing unique about um, these new communities, uh, Chessmar is really kind of stepping up their game for these higher end communities. They're putting spray foam in the attic, really adding more insulation into there so you don't have high utility bills. Um, this is a gas community, so you've got a beautiful, gas cooktop in here, very nice, by Cafe, which is gonna be GE's highest appliance. Uh, she got me a Cafe refrigerator and absolutely love it. The autofill feature is really cool. You're gonna have Profile, which is GE's mid-level product. All right, coming in here, we down this hall, we've got a flex room that can be used for whatever you want it to use. Another office, a multimedia room, pool table, whatever you want to do. But yeah, lots and lots of space in this room. Let me go all the way back to the wall. 
there's lots of space in here. And the closet's kind of built for having game, board games and stuff like that in. So a really cool family room. Just another little linen closet right here. And we've got another full bedroom up here. These are really good sized bedrooms as well. They were the builder's grade uh, light up there because they're probably going to be putting uh, their own ceiling fan in. And these bedrooms all have their own bathrooms on it. So it's really nice to everybody have their own bathroom. A lot less bickering that way. All right, coming back here, we have the laundry room. So really good sized laundry room there. Love the fact they get their own sink, cabinets. I already hear some trades out here in the garage, but I'm gonna surprise them anyways. There he is, peekaboo. <laughs> I just wanted to show off. I told him I was gonna surprise you. <laughs> All right, you have a three car garage on this side. So lots and lots of space. Uh, the water softener does not come with the house, but they probably bought it with in conjunction. Dual water heater, so this place is never going to run out of water. I love all the different lights and the windows in there as well. All right, sorry that the trades guy was just finished doing a little caulking there. Let me come back in. You got a full mud room, places to hang your backpacks and all that good stuff. All right, coming on around, and we're going to head. Uh, Let's head on outside because that's going to be really cool as well. I haven't shown off this beautiful farmhouse sink yet, but these are really, really nice. And they're going to with like the purified water set up there. Oh, and I got to mention these cabinetries. They, these are some beautiful cabinetries. I'm not sure if taking them all the way up is going to be an upgrade or a standard feature. You have to ask uh, Stacy. She's the sales rep for this community. But, uh, I know my client really likes the wood beams, so if she did build this house, she'd probably put those uh, wood beams up. All right, that's gonna be the master bedroom. We're gonna save that one for last because I don't want you to click off the video just yet. Um, also, at the end of the slide, I'm gonna have a bunch of community information, uh, their tax rate, HOA fees, and prices, base prices of other homes in this community. Really large space out here. I love the fact that, well, with this particular house, west is that direction. So as I'm filming this, we're pushing five o'clock in the afternoon. The shade is creeping out further, but it's really nice. Plum for uh, your outdoor kitchen space. Beautiful fireplace on the outside. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure one fireplace comes when you're building a chest bar home. But of course you can get another one if you wanted to. Uh, but I believe this lot goes all the way back to where uh, that saw is being finished. It might go a little bit further. Um, you can do privacy fences in this community, which is kind of nice. So yeah, you can get ultimate privacy that way. But really love this outdoor living space. And today, uh, we're mid-October, so fall, but fall finally hit today and the weather is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, some are stuck with us a little longer than we'd like to. But there inside we have this nice linear fireplace and it's already got set up for the TV up top. All right, I remember I showed you the three car garage. Well, guess what? There's a fourth garage here. So single car garage. Now, if you don't have to have a fourth garage, I've seen other people do that air splitter up there and they turn this room into their own little personal gym, which is really cool. All right, we have another bedroom tucked off to this wing of the house. Still a really good sized room. Spot for a ceiling fan up there, but of course they've got their own bathroom as well in this room with a really good sized closet. And there's your full bath with a shower only this time. All right, I'm glad you're still with me. If you are, I definitely appreciate that. And I'm always curious to see where people are watching my videos from. So in the comments, feel free to uh, list what state or what city you're watching it from. That always makes me feel good. Some, uh, uh, sometimes I'm shocked at how many people are actually watching this uh, goofy real estate agent doing these videos. All right, heading into the master bedroom. If you saw for the back porch part, you do have, they did have doors going out. Master bedroom, lots and lots of light in here. 
Speaking of something that's really cool, check out the ceiling. Big bedroom, lots and lots of space in here. And uh, I'm just gonna head to the bathroom real quick when the trade is trying to beat me in here. Uh, but I do love the big giant soaking tub, dual vanities. They got blinds already in here and definitely love these mirrors. Still eight foot doors all throughout. Water closet right there and a beautiful shower. And I love the fact that the people who picked off the finishes of this house took the tile all the way to the top. That really does make this place look super cool. And I, it's just stunning how many lights you have in this master bath. All right, one last thing, we're almost done. We have the master bedroom closet and it's kind of split up, but it's a good sized closet. You even got off season racks up there, plenty of space and a little more space right here. And then the other side as well, your off season rack up there and lots and lots of space in here. So a good size closet, one big shoe rack slash cowboy boot rack. All right, let me get on out of here so the trades can finish doing their job, appreciate it. But yeah, I'm uh, definitely happy that uh, Chessmar let me video this Anthony plan because I've never videoed an Anthony. Uh, they do have a similar plan for as the Anthony, it's called the Bethany, but there'd be a stairway going up and a big game room slash bonus room up top in the Bethany. But the people that are interested in Anthony is like, uh, no, we want our kids to actually move away. So they definitely did not want the upstairs area in it. So this looks, seems like it might be a really good fit for them, and I hope they found this video informative. All right, now, if you saw value in this, hit that like button. Of course, I want you to subscribe to my channel, but most importantly, share these videos with your friends and family. Don't click off yet. Remember, I told you there could be more information after my contact information. My contact information will be just after my little exit thing. And uh, I'm also gonna have in the description box my Calendly link. So if you did wanna reach out to me via like scheduling a Zoom meeting, just click that link. We schedule either a phone call or a Zoom meeting. I'd be happy to get to know you. Now remember, the builders, they actually pay the realtor fees. So if you do see value in what I'm doing here, uh, please feel free to reach out to me. Text is probably the best way to get hold of me. Uh, my email just gets so full, filled up with all the spam crap that we got going on nowadays. All right. That's going to do it for today. All right, talk to you soon. Take care now. Bye.